What's up, YouTube? Garrett here with Rask Group. Back with another kind of product review video. Um, we're going to go over the current state of my Glock 19, my Rask 19. Um, long story short, I've gone through a lot of iterations with this thing. I think I finally found a configuration that is conducive to what I do as a shooting instructor. It's conducive to concealed carry. It's an adequate home defense gun. I'm pretty happy with it. So my recommendation to most first-time gun owners, if they ask for my personal opinion, is I always kind of default to the Glock 19. I think for what it is that you get a quite a bit of capability, but that's a whole other conversation. Let's dive into this. So we'll start top and work our way down. Up top, I'm running a Trichcon SRO. Um, I've had zero issues with mine. No... Uh, no issues with the dot disappearing under recoil. Um, the brightness maintains relatively well, even in the bright daylight. I have to change out the battery probably about every eight months or so if I run it on a higher setting. If that's something that you're not into, then go with an RMR or Hollow Sun, DPP, whatever, whatever you're into. I just think that uh, red dots are becoming kind of a gold standard across the industry on handguns. Um, to back that up, I'm running some Overwatch Precision half blue uh, suppressor height sights. Because of how tall this sits, I get like a low window co a low window co witness. It's not even a lower one third, but I can access my sights through the optic. I'm sure, you can see it there. So that's what I'm running for a sighting system. Running a Roscoe Manufacturing, Glock 19, non-threaded barrel. Pretty happy with that. Murphy's Outdoors Custom Slide. He did the slide cuts, the optic cut, the Cerakote. Cerakote's holding up like a champ, 1,500 rounds in with this current configuration with the kind of the multi-cam theme. Cagworks Extended Slide Release. You can see where that's eating up the Cerakote a little bit, but honestly, for as hard as I run it, not too bad. Running a Surefire X300, um, this and the TLR1HL are my two favorite lights. I kind of go back and forth between the two. I don't know if this is necessarily that much better than a TLR1HL as far as just like a practical training civilian type setting, but I'm not like getting blown up or shot at daily. So at least think, at least right now I'm not. So thank God for that. But that's what I'm running for right now. Um, Overwatch Precision Tap Trigger. This thing is very nice. So we'll do this. Clear for anybody that's concerned. Don't know why you would be. You're not here. Um, but pretty precise take up to a wall. Break. Reset. So pretty happy with that. XL Weapon Works did my simple job. As always, he does phenomenal work. And then I am running a Overwatch Precision Magwell. I don't know the exact model or name of it. I think they only offer one style of Magwell. Um, I went with a metal Magwell. I was trying some polymer Magwells, and I was noticing that the, the front lip kept slipping off when I was running the gun relatively hard. I switched over to this. haven't had an issue since. Um, my mags are downstairs, but I run OEM Glock 15 round Gen 3 mags. I'm not a huge fan of the new Gen 5 mags with their new base plate design. Um, if I do have Gen 5 mags, I'll actually swap the base plates out to Gen 3s. Personal preference, I think that the Gen 3 base plates are much better. Um, and as far as internals, I'm running OEM upper parts kit, OEM lower parts kit, both of which I got at Brownells. Pretty sure Brownells is also where I picked up the um, blank slide, the SRO, maybe the X300, I can't remember, but hit up Brownells. They do a lot of good stuff for the community. I try to support them as much as I can. Um, yeah, guys. So that's the review of my Glock 19. Tell me about your current main setup down in the comments. I'm excited to hear about it. If you have any critiques, leave that down there as well. I'm always open to constructive criticism. Other than that, you guys stay safe, stay trained.